just kind of just a universal problem for Bowser for the most part. I think Battlefield only makes it slightly worse, and I think it's a, good, a decent price to pay for the combo extension that Yoshi gets off these platforms and the pressure that Bowser can deal with when people are landing against right him. Right off the bat, XL able to land and up be out of shield on Soul, so dealing a very formidable 13%, but unfortunately locking in his own teammate out of that. Beautiful nail out of the up throw. Just mile in a perfect position to be able to convert off of that. I love that. I just love that option. So good. And I, I'd be shocked if the Mile and Exile have never teamed before. So these seem to be so on top of each other's combos. Really just optimizing every hit. And that's going to be a stock. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a footstool. Definitely accidental, but could potentially let something. Ooh. Uh, right now, Ralphie's going to be struggling to get back onto stage, but <gasps> the down air is just like such a big like vibe check, I guess. It's um, it it's a, it's like a call out, like okay, you're gonna hang up. Oh what in the world? God. That was a Mamma Mia pizzeria. Oh if I ever seen that one. was the whole bakery, the whole pizzeria, uh, the whole town. First of all, pizza is not made out of bakery. It's made I, I, by a pizza yolo. It's made out of pizza yolo at a pizza place. Myself. Everybody knows this. Bro, anyhow. stop talking or I'm going to kiss you right now, bro. Okay, anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I feel like they could be punishing maybe XL's aggressive landings a little bit more. Oh, XL <laughs> accidentally drifting. Did you call catch what percent he was at when he was right there? I did not at all, but able to land the F smash on Ralphie. Oh, right now they have a 4-2 to two stock lead. This is going to be a mountain for Ralphie and Soul yeah. to climb. They need to take out Miles' stock right now before he generates any more damage. Uh, almost finding the kill, but he found the kill with the up air. I love the commitments. Something has awoken. Oh, Ralphie was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> Decided to just opt for game two. Yep. He said, uh, I've had enough. Yeah. Respectable for sure, and Mile and Exile, they have awoken something. They are playing so hot right now, on top of each other's combos, getting these early spike kills with hard reads. It's just, they seem to be on another level. Yep. Uh, earlier we saw them, and 0 to 9 PK Chris kind of did like pretty good, uh, convincingly won. That was just such a complete turnaround. Yeah, but for, like, man, they, Solsig and Ralphie has to find a way to deal with, like, all of, like, Exile's ledge pressure. The way that Exile, like, plays is, like, he's really, really good at, like, okay, this is a high commitment move. I'm not gonna die if I commit to this. You will die if you pick the wrong option. And it's so difficult to, like, really narrow in on, like, the correct ledge options, especially in doubles. Yeah, and Ralphie opting for the Joker. Um, so, Joker, I think, I think... Without a doubt, in my opinion at least, is the best doubles character. You can get Arson so fast, so quickly, and it's just such a threat. On top yep. of that, um, Ralphie, obviously a lot of time in this character. I believe he considers him his main as of right now. And I think also really important to note, I'm not sure if you already noticed, is the Joku Pokemon trainer attacking doubles. Oh, where it was actually was, patched out. It was not patched out, it just made it a little bit weaker. Ah. Or well, ah. maybe I'm capping. I, I honestly think you're capping right now, but what do I know? Please. What I do know is that there's a Yoshi that has a shield broken. Oh my oh god! Oh my god! Wow. What in the world? How did that happen? How did he get a double shield break? So, and he's just gonna get F smashed! Whoa. This is a gamer moment, just happening over and over. Ralphie getting the down throw into the four. Neutral air boot? I'm not entirely sure what aerial that was. Yeah, so Joker's F smash with Arson has quite insane shield damage. Even with no charge, it does about half shield. Jesus and that was Christ. fully charged, I believe. And both of them were seeing in shield. And both of them were on the platform because if they were grounded, they surely would not have died to up smash like that. Yeah, and that was a, a real crunchy up smash. That's just crunchy, that was crispy. Oh, that I guess, I guess, the, I'll talk about the difference between crunchy and crispy a little bit later. But <laughs> That's for a cooking show, 7 to 8, Monday night. Um. Fantastic F tilt. I don't think that was a two plume. I just think that uh, Salty was hanging on ledge just a little bit too long there. Either way, a great pivot cancel F tilt. Like, you know, XL was just like, you know, I'm going to run in there, I'm going to do it. And he was able to get the reward on it. Oh, great call out on the landing from Salty uh, using the up smash to call out the ID landing. And I feel like 
What I would like to see from Salsa a little bit more is maybe some more Razor Lead through whenever he does play Ivy. Because you just see him try to go for either back airs or down airs almost exclusively. And I just feel like maybe playing back with Razor Leaves are just a great interrupt to a fantastic up air coming from Mile to seal out Ralphie's stock. And right now, Ooh, it's not really great. all that even. All they need Definitely is... Definitely not even. Yeah. But um, Bowser, or Charizard can hold on to a stock for an extremely long time. It's going to be really crucial for Solcer to kind of hang back, look for Ralphie to do a toss, and maybe just a quick kill with a back air. Yeah. But like, now Ralphie's at 85. In previous games, like you saw him, when he's at high percent, he commits to something like a Flare Blitz. But the Nair, more than enough to take it out. Ralphie has Arsene out. Wow. Oh my god. Almost with four shield breaks this game. <laughs> but barely going to hold on. Yep. And a great call out on just the fact that he's abusing his counter. Ralphie has to find a way to get back on a great neutral get up into the shield. Um, and so impressive after that really, really crazy start. They hold on. And the armor lasting at 70% and slicing. What a game. What a game. And what a recovery after getting Yeet smashed. It's probably going to be on Yeet Smash. Yo, my voice is going to be on Yeet Smash. Hi, Mom. Um, but after getting that double shield break, it's going to be it's gonna be really hard to like get your momentum back. But they just kept their head in the game and actually with a pretty convincing win. Um, yeah, and I feel like... Man, I just... I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where Ralphie and Salsa could be doing better. Oh, I got to play. Oh, I'm sorry. You got to go to play singles? All right, all right, all right. We just, we just, we just, yep. Um, <laughs> um, okay. So Ralphie and Salsa has to maybe slow it down just a little bit. He's going in a lot. He's trying to land very, very quickly. Has to play it back. Um, and I feel like Ralphie... The Joker switch was really, really good, but it definitely did not work out in the end. Considering that Bowser was able to armor through a lot of what Joker does, Wolf able to do a whole lot much more. Fantastic choice of music, I just want to say. I love Gladion's theme. Really, really beautiful song. I love that from Ralphie. So, so brilliant. He just waited out Bowser's up Make sure, you know what? I'm not even going to contest it aggressively. I'm going to land a Tomahawk. But the F-Tilt coming from Exile. Cleaning up Soul Soul stock already. A really, really beautiful parry punish going for the SD. And that is definitely a strat to take if you're going to stock up. What's stopping you from doing it? Like, and you see them only pulling this out now. Like, he's definitely taken aback by it. Just because this is not something they even had the chance to adapt to. If you're going to stock up, like, you know, just keep on, just keep on dipping it. Keep on, keep on going with it. Uh, going for the Bowser Bomb again, unable to find it. Um, and right now, he's going to be trying to punish uh, Solsu off the stage. A fantastic up there, killing Mile. I love that placement of the down beat from Bowser because it's just this giant hitbox that you don't really want to be contesting. And if you guess incorrectly, if he lands on stage or if he's going to go ahead and snap to ledge, um, but, you know, you could get your shield broken, you could get spiked into the blast zone, you could just die from the regular hit. It's it's such a like, ridiculous option that unless you have, like, maybe a horizontal disjoint, you don't want to be contesting at all. A great, great back throw into Ralphie's neutral air. And now we just see uh, Ralphie and Solsu starting to play off of each other a little bit much, a little bit more. Mile able to find the kill on Ralphie. They are a stock up, and they just... Oh my god, fantastic commitment from uh, from Exile. They're just going through the forward air. Solsu was maybe a little bit afraid to flare bullets back onto stage. Um, yeah, this is looking very, very tough for Ralphie. And that is going to be the SD kill. Once again, the Bowser Bomb offstage. Uh, meaning, this is the end of the line for Solsu and Ralphie, landing them a third place, and MGW and Venia versus Mile and Exiled for Xeno Saga XXX uh, Grand Finals. I will be holding my non-existent 